Hello, this is Chris the Trailblazer again from NoChurchianny.net and today I'd like to talk about the Christian and the law. Uh, by the law I mean the Old Testament law, the Mosaic Code, the 613 commandments given to Moses on Mount Sinai, if you will. Now, most Christians believe that we now live under grace and we are no longer bound to these commandments. Um, that is not the viewpoint which the church has traditionally taken and I believe it to be erroneous and this can be shown biblically and I'd like to go ahead and, and show what I consider to be the proper relationship of the Christian to the law. Now obviously of those 613 commandments a lot of them had to do with the Jewish temple uh, those obviously have to for now be thrown out the window there is no you know Jewish temple in Jerusalem anymore um, some of them have to do with ritualistic purity, you know, in foods, etc. Uh, the New Testament makes it quite clear that we're no longer bound to those. Uh, but when you strip away those, you're still left with, you know, several hundred commandments uh, dealing with what you might call the moral law. And those more or less are still in force. Now, we don't live in a theocracy, um, so, you know, we don't go around. Uh, stoning people anymore but you know obviously if God thought something was you know bad enough that he commanded the Old Testament Israelites to stone someone then you know he's not going to change his mind about that so you know if you take a look at you know the prohibitions about uh, you know uh, fortune telling uh, witchcraft um, you know not stealing uh, not bearing false witness etc all that stuff is still in force and you know the reformers uh, John Calvin uh, when he took over Geneva you know they they not only put those in force uh, those 35 um, Old Testament reasons for execution uh, he added to it he had uh, 300 um, the English common law uh, in the 1800s was still largely based on the biblical code and uh, you know they were executing people right and left uh, so you know, may, maybe, uh, you know, the punishments were a bit extreme. Maybe it was kind of like having, you know, martial law uh, enforced. But, you know, clearly we as Christians are still bound to that moral law. And, you know, this can be shown biblically because what did Jesus say? He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. I did not come here to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. And the law was still being followed uh, by you know the apostles throughout the New Testament uh, to some extent you know maybe too much you know Peter and Paul got into it about circumcision uh, you know whether Gentile converts need to be circumcised so I'm not saying any of this is a legalist uh, I believe in once saved always saved but I also believe that you know you don't break God's law God's law breaks you and you know if you're violating the the moral laws of the Old Testament, you know, you throughout your life are going to be paying for it. And uh, not just for the, the punishment aspect, but for the fact that it, you know, separates you from God, separates you from Christ. Um, I've looked through, you know, all those commands and, you know, I haven't seen any of them that, you know, look uh, like they shouldn't still be enforced, you know, save what I said about the rituals and the, uh, uh, the temple, etc. Um, now, one problem you will have, for instance, uh, applying Old Testament law to the modern day is that you need to understand the context that those laws were given. So, you know, for instance, in the Old Testament, if it tells you, you know, if a uh, son or daughter curses their parents and they refuse to stop, uh, you know, that they're to be taken out and stoned. Well. I've heard preachers try to argue that, you know, people that have grown up with, you know, parents that uh, were very abusive, even, you know, say were molesting the daughter, etc., that um, they should still honor them. I don't think that's scriptural, uh, and I'll tell you why. In scripture, that parent won't even still be alive. <laughs> the parent themselves will have been taken out and stoned uh, the moment that uh, their incest, uh, their, you know, whatever, was discovered. So you can't just pick and choose bits and pieces of the law totally out of context but as a whole 
the law was not given by God uh, as some weight that we must carry. Rather, it was given by God as a gift. Um, it was given for our protection so that we would know how to live, so that we would be happy. So that's the way that we should treat it as such. And um, if you have any uh, theological questions or concerns about this, you can email me through my website, uh, nochurchianny.net. And I pray you all have a blessed day. Thank you.